called Smokin'. We're playing uh, great stuff from the late 1970s, a little bit beyond that. But mostly, uh, we're here to rock and roll with you folks. Forget about work week, forget about our troubles, and uh, put on some old vinyl like it's your friend that you remember. Right? So, uh, we're in the band, but you're also in the band tonight. So help us out with the words and the lyrics. Dance along, let's have a great time, okay?
Josh also is doing this for the Boston. Finish the young Tommy Charles guys are having uh, doing their thing in Chicago. A band on the West Coast was kicking it up nearly about the same time. But we're going to try one of those songs for that. And I don't think I'm even going to have to uh, uh, announce this one. In any way, what's Greg Sarge playing the piano over if you're all going to know it? You're all going to want to sing along. It's a great summertime song. This one's going to be led by our good buddy over here, the crazy man. Mr. Uh, Dave Gubicek, give him some love.
to have quite as many lead singers as we do, but we've got a whole audience full of lead singers tonight. So, uh, but we got one more lead singer to introduce you to. It's the man behind the drum kit back here. Mr. Tim Elliott, you might know him from any number of other bands around the area, but uh, the band he's going to cover for you tonight is a band that's not often covered by anybody other than Mr. Majestic. We've got any Mr. Majestic fans in here tonight? Me too. Huge fan. Both guys. I, I hope that you will be the union gigs, but this one features our version of cellos. So.
Okay. So are we. Alright, so it's been a while since uh, the first Boston record came out. I don't know if you know it. Um, back in a time where things came out in big vinyl packages and you could look at the artwork and, uh, and such. And that was, it was an experience every time you got a new record. Well, I remember distinctly my big brother bringing home the first Boston record and I, I looked at the artwork and once I figured out it was a guitar, I thought, this is pretty badass, this is cool. And, um, I was in the, in the, at the time I was mired in the life of uh, the Bee Gees disco and stuff like that. Which is good stuff too, but it was a rock and roll and when I heard this uh, was a Boston guitar, it changed my whole life. Little did I know that, what is it, 40, 45 years in the future that we get to play Boston songs and get to see them together. So thank you for remembering the music in Boston. So that being said, I want to dedicate this next um, next song to my big brother Greg, who's not here tonight, but he's three years older and he changed my life that day. He got into Boston. Let's remember this uh, this one off side B. Starts out with some high notes, everybody. Ladies and guys, help me out, please. Just like this.
Well, I saw I saw an ad in the paper one day, and they said tambourine player needed. No, no, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> they didn't need a tambourine player. Anyways, if you remember back in 1975 or so, Sticks came out with an album and had a big piece of ice on it. It was on fire. It's called the Equinox album. It was the best album, I think. Anyways, when I heard this song here, I said, I have got to learn how to play this song. If you know anything about me, it's my favorite from uh, the Equinox.
fun out there tonight. Thank you for coming out and supporting some live music. This next song is one that, uh, if you're from the Midwest, you're going to love this band. Um, they came out of Champaign, Illinois, wrote a lot of great stuff. Kevin Cronin, anybody know Kevin Cronin? Let's go, let's get on with it. You'll love this one. Let's go. Four. Yeah. 
favorites to play just because uh, it's such a positive, uplifting song, and most Boston songs really are. Um, and it starts with a very iconic guitar riff that Dave's going to eat off right now. Let's see if you know it and can sing along with us. It goes like this.
up on the choreography we got going up here. You know, uh, you mean they're making those rock and roll faces that you make? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, they're doing the moves. We, we spent a lot of money having Paula Abdul tell us which moves to do and stuff. <laughs> I shouldn't know. Uh, watch out for Steve's new tribute to Paula Abdul. It's coming right up. If Rush and Boston weren't enough, here comes Paula yeah. Abdul. It's a good thing I don't have more time than So uh, earlier I mentioned that uh, Paul's laying down the bass groove, and uh, this is a moment where uh, the guitar players really get to show off, and it's, uh, it's one of my favorites. Songs to do. It's such a sweet song, and then it picks up tempo with the guitar players just getting crazy. But uh, tonight, we're gonna have you folks sing with me, and we're gonna dedicate it to the uh, the memory of uh, Brad Bell, who was such a huge part of the song.
we are the band called Smokin'. We're so happy to be here with you tonight. We're doing two sets. The first one's almost done. We have one, uh, one tune to play for you. Then we're going to take a short break and we'll keep, you, keep back out here with us and we'll rock and roll. But thank you for sharing your Friday evening with us. Are you